Well, hello, my lovelies out there in wonderful YouTube land. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing wonderful. If you have not been here before, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. And if you have, welcome back. So, do I look any different to you? Do I? Well, maybe to some of you, if you've been here before. And if you haven't been, then you probably won't know what the hell I'm talking about. Today, what I did was, I didn't know I was going to be filming a video. So I didn't put any makeup on. Well, I mean, I got makeup on, obviously. But if you looked back at my Allure Beauty Box, you saw that I got in the Secret Repair from Dr. Jart. And when I put it on my face, it's supposed to be, it's green in the container, and then it's supposed to be like, like turns to a beige kind of thing. It's supposed to be like a moisturizing repair of your skin, kind of calms down the redness of your skin, and makes it almost like, um like a tinted moisturizer kind of thing, and it didn't really do anything on my face. Well, let me just tell you, I've been using it every single day since. I've been putting it on my neck. My neck's a little red right now, if you can see it where well, you can, it's right there. My dog scratched me last night. I was holding her, and my Sheba and my pug don't really get along very well. And I was holding my Sheba, and my pug walked by, and she was like, and she scratched my neck. And then I was doing my, um, facial shaving thing whatever it's called dermaplaning this morning and I dermaplaned and I don't like putting makeup on, on top of the dermaplaning and I dermaplane right over top of that and I have these little tiny skin tags and I kind of got them off so my neck's very irritated so I used the secret repair like I always do and it actually calmed it down some so you should have seen it before so I decided to put the secret repair all over my face which I've been doing like all week long and I haven't worn foundation I think I wore it once or twice this week, I did a couple videos and I did three videos in one day. So I had, obviously I had the foundation on that day. Other than that, I haven't worn foundation, but just that, just for that vid, those videos that week, I've been using this stuff. And let me tell you what, oh my God, you can see how much I've used. So I have used almost this entire little jar in there and I ordered more of this Sephora. Sephora's having their big sale. I have I have five Sephora orders coming, so yeah, I have big hauls coming. I've got a lot of stuff coming because I kept remembering stuff I needed. I'd order something and then I'd be like, oh crap, I forgot to order that. Or my friend Maya would say, have you tried this product yet? And I'd be like, dang one, I need to find that out. So I'd go online and be like, oh yeah, I need to try that. So yeah, I'll order a lot. <laughs> so anyway, I ordered some more of this because I really like the way it smells. It's very earthy smelling. I can't describe it. It's, it just smells good to me. To me it does. And it just feels really good. It's really calmed my skin down. Um, I don't like, I don't know if you can wear foundation over it or not, to be honest with you, because it's, it's like a moisturizing repair and it does have a little bit of a tint. But if you've watched me before, you would know that I have these places. You can still see them, obviously, you know, right here and right here. This is a cyst and this is just something I picked. And this right down here is, a, is something I picked. And I do have a cyst over here that forms every so often. And I get very nervous and I pick my skin. This has really helped with that. I don't feel that urge to pick as much because it's like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's really helping my skin. It's helping my skin feel more comforted. I had a really bad rash on my neck and this is helping it feel so much better. So what I did today is I put just this on. The only place I have any other skin makeup product is where I cut my eyebrows out because I do not have any hair on my eyebrows. So I have to actually draw all my eyebrows in. And I'm not even going to do that today, but I decided to do it because I have a box here, which you know from the title what the box is, but don't know what's in it. So I want to show you that, but I cut my eyebrows in. So I do have some concealer like right on my eyebrows. And then for everything else, I decided to put powder on just to kind of powder that down to see what it, what it does. Cause I haven't done that yet. And I wanted to see what that would do with powder. And I used my Huda Beauty. Um, this is cupcake. Let me tell you what, I am loving this powder. I think I found my holy grail grail because I got, you know, if you've watched me for a long period of time, you know that I love my Juno powder. I've been using that for a long time. I start using the Tarte powder. Um, I got in the, um, which one's this called? This is, let me put my glasses on. I don't talk with my glasses. I got the filtered light setting powder and I've been using that a lot too and my Jeffree Star powder that I use, but I tried the Huda powder because I see a lot of um, influencers use it. And I got the cupcake and I got the sugar cookie. Oh my gosh, guys, why did I sit on this for so long? I freaking love this powder, like to no end. Love it, it works perfect for my dry skin. I just, I love it, I love it, love it, love it. So we'll see how it works over top of the Sika pair. What the Sika pair says it does 
It says that it's Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment with an SPF of 30, which is like perfect for my skin. And it says it applies, um, apply a moisture, moderate, sorry, apply a moderate amount for moisturizer. The formula will change from green to beige to help conceal, it's really hard, it's really tiny writing, to help conceal the look of redness to even out skin tone. I mean, it's like really written, really tiny. So it was really hard for me to read that. You can't even see it. I mean, and my camera was doing really, there it is. See how tiny that's written? Anyway, I just really, really like it. So like I said, I ordered a bigger container of it. I don't even know. I didn't get the big container. I got like the five mils, I think. Um, this one is, no, this is a five. I think I got the 15. So we'll see when it gets here. Cause I wanted to make sure I was gonna like it for a while. Um, and then of course, you know, I gotta have my lipstick on cause I can have no makeup whatsoever on my face, but I still have lipstick on. And then for my lashes, I went in with my Grande Lash Serum. This is actually, I put my serum on at night and then during the day, it's just a clear lash conditioner. And then of course I had to put some mascara on because I'm that bitch. And then of course, you know, my highlighter, gotta have highlighter because I decided to do a video because I got something in today. It is called Camp Life. It's a Camp Life box. It comes in quarterly and we go camping all the time except everything's been canceled so far this year. So I don't know what we're gonna do. But I ordered this thinking, oh yeah, we're gonna go camping a lot. So I wanna see what's in the box. Well, I know what's in the box because you know I had to open it and, and disinfect everything. But I want you to see what's in this box. So you wanna see what's in the box? If you go camping, you might wanna see it. What you get in the box is you get this little card like you do in all the other boxes. The box is a little pricey. It's $49.95 a quarter. For some reason, I was thinking it was $39. It's $49.95 a quarter. So we will see whether it's worth it to you or to me. So let's delve into it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing in the box, like I said, I already know what's in it, is this really interesting looking can opener. It's a bottle opener, I should say. Not a can opener, a bottle opener. It says the sturdy bottle opener will be there for you even when the campfire isn't burning. And it's this little metal heavy duty bottle opener. Number one, we don't have anything to open this with. We don't drink um, anything that would require this, if you know what I'm talking about. So we won't even need this. My husband is a metal worker. Uh, he welds steel um, and other, other items where he works. So he would actually be able to make this if I wanted him to make this. So this wouldn't even be something we would use practically. We would like display it. So that be something we could like sit in our camper, um, even hang on the wall maybe, that'd be cute. But as far as a bottle opener, I don't think we'll get use out of it for that. Plus our camper has one in it. It's like it came with the camper. So this, yeah, this is not something we're going to use as a useful item, put it that way. The second thing, which I think this is just adorable. These are submersible LED lights. It's got seven color battery operated LED with one color change setting. They're luminaires. And this is what this looks like. It says, these submersible LED lights will light up your way to the campfire and make sure you don't forget where you put your cup. And these are just so cute. Look at these little things. They're lighting up to the touch them. You put these in your drink cups. If I can get them out of the container. Look. Can you see the way it's lightening up? Is it showing up on camera? And there's two of them. And I think that's the coolest thing. I've got things like this to put in my bathtub. But yeah, they're just little LED lights. And I don't know how long they last for. I don't know sure what the battery life is on it. Um, I don't know if it tells me on here or not. Now, this is their submersible. Um, they have different color settings that rotate. Pink, green, and blue. It actually says pink, pink, blue, and green. That's an on and off switch that cycles through the colors that you want. Okay, there it is. It says, due to the battery, you should dispose of recyclable in an appropriate manner. Um, they last 16 to 20 hours when continual with a shorter duration of four to six. Okay. So yeah, they probably won't last too long. They're really cute. And I'll, I like these. I like these a lot. So that's something I'll definitely use. Um, yeah, that's. I think that's really cute. I like this. The next thing is a lemon powder drink mix and this is what it looks like it's by the company perfecta and it says beverage accents 14 single servings so that's good the little serving packets so let's open that up 
and it says it's lemonade mix. Add a little lemon flavor to your favorite cup with these lemonade flavor packets. And I like lemon tea. I don't know if you guys like lemon tea. So, but I just don't drink a lot of tea. But if I do, I think it'd be cool to put that in. And I drink a lot of lemon water. Like, a lot of lemon water. So, it's just a little packet you can put in. Um, let's see if there's any instructions. It says, it's got lemon fruit pulp powder. 10 calories a serving. It says, it's manufacturing facility that processes peanuts and, toy and tree nuts. Um, let me see. It does not say. I'm assuming... You can put it just in a cup. It doesn't even say. It doesn't say like, usually it'll say, you know, mix in 8 ounces or 16 ounces or whatever. Expires in June 2022. Yeah, it doesn't say. That's kind of weird. I'm assuming, they're showing a cup. So I'm assuming like, you know, it'll, it'll be anything. I'm going to try that today in my water. Because I'll have my water already mixed up for the day with my little tinctures I do. I'm going to mix it in with that and see what happens. Next thing is a camping recipe journal. This is really cute. And it's got like little things where you can write down your recipes. And it says, write down your favorite camping recipes, either those you collect online or those you collect around the campfire. Now this, okay, so what we do when we go camping, we pretty much eat the same things all the time, as boring as that may sound. So in the mornings, we have a waffle iron we take with us. We used to do, um, um, pick, uh, pan pancakes all the time and we don't like we're not pancake eaters but we have, for some reason we always do when we go camping but we got a, a waffle iron for my son for Christmas last year or the year before last last year yeah last year and but we're the ones to take it we take it camping with us and we make one waffle for my husband and I and then we split it he eats half and I eat half and that's what we eat for breakfast and he, he makes himself like eggs I don't eat eggs I really don't eat breakfast foods like at all I don't eat bacon I don't eat eggs I don't eat sausage I don't eat any of that stuff I don't I don't like it but he'll make that for him, and then he'll make fried potatoes, and that's what we eat. That's our breakfast. Um, and then for lunch, usually we eat it, like, if we're out somewhere, we'll grab something. Um, because we go, like, antique shopping and things like that while we're out. And then for dinner, we'll have, like, you know, we'll have burgers, or we'll have, um, like, pork, chicken. So we the same thing. So we don't really have recipes. So if something like this, I don't think we'll actually use because... I, don't, I just don't know. Sometimes we'll make our own pizza on the grill. Um, I, don't, I don't know if we'll use this or not. I don't know. Maybe I'll throw it in a giveaway box. Yeah, I'll let my husband decide. He's the big camper. Listen, I kind of got this box for him because, you know, he's he's the reason we go camping. You know, we love camping and I love camping. I glamp. This, what you see, I do when I go camping. I used to put false eyelashes on them when camping. I did before I had my eyelashes in. Speaking of eyelashes in, honey, honey childs. If you followed me before, God, can you see these things? I mean, look. Holy shit, right? Oh my God, I I just, I still can't get over it. I just can't get over it. Oh my gosh. Okay, the next thing we have is a tote bag. And it says, this rope-handled tote bag is perfect for carrying all those campfire picnic accessories. We bet it'll go in your new go-to, we bet it'll be your no, new go-to even when you're not camping. Look at that thing. Look how big that is. That is big guys oh my gosh i'm a huge i love bags like i love bags i don't have like expensive bags i do have a michael kors but i got it at a consignment shop and i checked it was actually a real michael kors bag it had the um um what do you call it um the identification tag on the inside i checked it into it and it's real and this is made by let's see if it has a company label to it um qt's this is the name of the company that it's made by. It's really cute. I really like that. That's a nice big bag. I'm not sure what the rope handle thing. I thought that it meant that it was going to be like rope. Yeah, but it's not. I like that. I, like I said, I love bags. I got an addiction to bags. My husband always tells me, why do you have so many damn bags? I don't know what I do. The next thing is, it's a mason jar. Frosted mason jar with a lid and a straw wants to be in your hands around the campfire oh my gosh i love this like you see this guys love it love it love it love it this is adorable oh my gosh my son loves these things because he keeps saying why don't we have any mason jar drinking drinking cups well now we do and the straw is is plastic um it's like silicone the silicone straw I, I don't use the straws like you get at McDonald's and all that. I don't use those. I, I have my Jeffree Star straws and also have glass straws. Look at this. 
That is so cute. It says campfire rule, camping rules. Watch the sunset and wait for the stars. Make eat, make make memories. Eat s'mores, which we don't eat s'mores. Relax and unwind. Laugh. Take a nap and sit by the fire. Isn't that adorable? And speaking of sitting by the fire, I'm weird because can you see the? I don't know if you can see the words or not. Here we go. I'm weird. I don't like sitting by the fire. I cannot stand the. I mean, I like the smell of campfire, but I don't like it on me. I can. I'm just weird. I'm just really weird when it comes to camping. I'm just. I'm just weird. I don't like the smell of campfire smoke on me or in my camper. I don't know why. I just don't. So if we have a campfire, it's like I gotta sit like away from it. I'm just. I just don't want the smell of it. I don't want the feel of it. I'm just weird. I'm just really weird. There's only one more item in this box. There's only. Let's see. There's one, two, three. There's only. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what's what's that equal out to? I'm not good at math, guys. I'm sorry, I gotta look it up. Um, Forty-nine ninety-five divided by seven. Whoops. So that's seven dollars and thirteen cent an item. So I guess that's not bad. I'm looking at it that way. Okay. It says a picnic back, back blanket. It says a waterproof. It's waterproof. Picnic blanket is great for an adventure. Adventure, whether you're in the grass, sand, or mud. Buffalo style plaid fleece. Okay. It comes, it's actually like this. So you can carry it with you. And of course we have a camper. Literally don't do, the, literally we go camping. We set, Okay. It cut me off. So I'm not really sure what I was saying. We go camping. We set up our camper. We go antique shopping. We come back. We make our dinner. We watch movies. We have, we have a TV in our camper. So we go, we watch movies and then that's it. That's all we do. We don't do anything fun camping. We're not, we're old. We don't do anything fun. So this is what it looks like. It's really big. Yeah, it's, it's really big camper. So yeah, I like this. This is really cute. So yeah. Oh look, look at my leggings. Elephants. Aren't they cute? Look at this. So it's from my legging company that that we don't have any more. I've talked about my leggings before. Well, they canceled their affiliate program. So you can no longer go online and buy, can't buy my leggings from me anymore. So, yeah, I talked about my company for a while there and I was an affiliate with them, but they have canceled their affiliate program because they couldn't, they couldn't make it through the, the crisis. They just couldn't do it. So, yeah, but I still have my 150 pair of leggings, but that's one pair of them. Anyway, that's all that's in the box. Um, this is, oh, this is neat. It's got like a little couch in it. Anyway, that's all that's in that box. Will I get another one? I don't know. Um, that is a little expensive for a box that we don't know whether we're going to go camping again. We might camp in our backyard. If we camp in our backyard, really won't need this stuff because I'll have my stuff here at the house. You know what I mean? I'm going to let my husband decide that. Um, he asked how much it was and when I told him, he was like, that's when I thought it was 40. I didn't know that it was 40, not 90, that's 50 dollars. So I don't know. I mean, I have a bunch of other boxes coming. I have my sleigh game playing box. I got my notice today. That's coming. My Roma, th my, my Roma reveal is coming. So when that comes next week, I'll be able to reveal that to you. That will be here Tuesday, I think. What's today? Yeah, that'll be here Tuesday, I think. So that look for that video coming. Um, don't forget, tonight's my two giveaways. I have my Instagram giveaway. So head over there to see how to win that one. And then my YouTube giveaways tonight. So both of those will end tonight at 11.59 p.m. Don't forget to enter them, okay? So go do that. So anyway, thank you for joining me here today to see what this, this box is all about. I will leave the link down below if you want to go check out um, this box if you're into camping. Or if you just want to maybe give a gift, you know, a camping gift to someone that, that might enjoy this. Um, like I said, I don't know. I don't know whether or not it's worth this. I just, I mean, you know... This is something you can just write down on your own. I mean, I, I, I keep a journal when I go camping, but this is not something, I mean, I just, I don't know, guys. I don't know if this is worth it. This, I think, is a really cute idea. Um, I don't know if in my drink cup, but I think it's, I like little LED lights, so I don't know if I'll put it in my drink cup or not. Um, maybe, because I do have little drinks when I go camping, so maybe I'll put that in there. I love this. I do. I love this a lot. Um, I like the frosted feel of it and look of it. Um, and I love the, the lemonade and the, the camping blanket. Mike, I, I know my husband did say that we can use that for the dogs because we do take a dog with us when we go camping. And he said even laying around the house, we can use it for the dogs. And then I love bags. So, I mean, it's like, eh, you know, I don't, I just don't know whether, if it was like $29.95, then I think it'd be more worth it. I just don't know the price point if it's actually worth that price for, for me personally. 
Um, I'll let you guys decide whether it's worth it for you. But anyway, thank you again for coming here and joining me. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day. I hope you guys are being safe and I hope you're all well. Have a good one. Come back and join me again. You guys take care of each other. Be good to each other. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.